Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening, Good evening everybody. Teacher. Welcome to the second day of classes, everybody. Okay. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you again. Okay, then we're going to start the class for today. For tonight, we're going to make a review, everybody. Okay. We're going to make a review of the class. You remember the topics that we had uh, last night? Do you remember the topics, everybody? I don't remember. Okay, the topics are the months, the months and the ordinal numbers. Los meses y los números ordinales. Okay. Y los días de la semana. Exactly. Okay, so we practice the pronunciation of the, the pronunciation of the ordinal numbers too. Okay, so that's, a, that's the review that we have for tonight. So let me share with you the, the, the screen in this moment. Okay, these are the ordinal numbers of the body. Okay, when we use the ordinal numbers, okay, when we describe dates, cuando hablamos de fechas, fechas importantes, okay, dates. For example, uh, Independence Day. When is Independence Day, everybody? 15 September 15. No, but first you need to include you need to include the month first. Okay, primero tiene que incluir el mes. September. September. September 15. 15. 15. September 15. Excellent. 15. Okay, so that's the year. Okay, September 15. Okay, and then we have uh, for example New Year. When is New Year, everybody? Can you tell me? New Year, Ano Nuevo? December, December 31. Jan, Jan, January 1st. January 1st. January 1st. Yeah. Okay. It's the first year, it's the first day of the year. Okay. January 1st. Okay. January 1st. Okay. So uh, this is the topic okay, that we have for today a review of the months and, um, and the ordinal numbers. Okay, everybody. So when we form the ordinal numbers, Okay, you know that is very simple. For example, uh, last night I explained, we have these numbers, okay, 21, 28, okay, and 31, okay, but remember, you need to form the ordinal numbers like this. Okay, for example, when you say primero, first, segundo, second, tercero, third, cuarto, fourth, and then fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see, it's very simple because we only include TH. Okay, we only include TH. So le ponemos TH. Okay. Uh, for example, when is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es su cumpleaños? Ah, my birthday is October 16th. Remember, you need to include the TH, September 16th. Okay, for example, when is Valentine's Day, everybody? Can you tell me? February. February? 14. 14. Okay, February? 14. February 14. Very good. Okay, so when we have a, when we have these numbers, okay, these are the cardinal numbers, 21, but the ordinal number is different. It's a combination, right? 20. 21st, okay? And the translation in Spanish, that could be vigésimo primero, okay? Then we have 28. Yeah. This is the cardinal number. This is the numero cardinal, 28. But the ordinal number is a combination, 20. 28. A, excellent, okay? 28, then we have 31. This is the normal number. But 31. the ordinal number is 30, 31st, like this, 31st, 
Okay? Now, pay attention, everybody. Pay attention and tell me your birth date, everybody. I will, I will go one by one. I will go one by one. For example, Isaac Flores. When is your birthday, Isaac? My birthday is in huh? April 7th. April 7th. Okay, thank you, Isaac. Alejandro Rivera, when is your birthday, Alejandro? My birthday is June 6th. June 6th, excellent, Alejandro. Okay, Israel, when is your birthday, Israel? My birthday is February 1st. February? February. Perish. February 1st. Okay, thank you, Israel. Now let's see. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Israel. Now, Ines, when is your birthday? Ines? My, my birthday is in December 23rd. December 21st. Okay, thank you, Ines. Now let's continue with, uh, let me see, Jacqueline Moriana. When is your birthday, Jacqueline? Okay, Jacqueline, can you hear me? Okay, maybe she has problems with her internet connection or with her cell phone. So let's continue with Jose. Jose Sol, where, when is your birthday? March 13th. March 13th. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jose Bella, when is your birthday, Jose? Okay, my birthday is uh, October 99. October 99. Or 19. Or October 19. <laughs> Uh, 29, se ah, okay, 29. 20? Ah, oh, excuse me, I see, okay. 29. Okay, October 29. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, now let's continue with, uh, uh, let's see, Karina. Karina, when is your birthday, Karina? My birthday is June 15. June 15. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Yes. Let's see. Thank you. Uh, Carla. Carla Perdomo, when is your birthday, Carla? Um, my, my birthday is November 16. November 16. Okay. 16. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Catherine Diaz. When is your birthday, Catherine? My birthday is on August 31st. August 31st, August 31st. Thank you, thank you, Catherine. Now let's continue with uh, Katia Monterrosa. When is your birthday, Catherine? My birthday is on August 17th. August 17th, fantastic, thank you. Okay, let's see, uh, Kenya Rivas, when is your birthday, Kenya? It's on January 16th. January 16th, thank you, Kenya. Now let's see, uh, Kayla Lopez, when is your birthday? My birthday is uh, November 29th. November 29th, excellent. Okay, thank you, Kayla. Now let's see, Lisette Granados. When is your birthday, Lisette? Mm -hmm. My birthday is April 19. April 19, excellent. Now let's see. 19. Uh, Santiago, when is your birthday, Santiago? My birthday is August 5th. August 5th, okay. Fantastic. And finally, we have, uh, let's see, Tamara. When is your birthday, Tamara? 
My birthday is June 10th. June 10th. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Let's see. Louis, uh, when is your birthday, Louis? My birthday is on October 24th. October 24th. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And now we have uh, Josue Garcia. When is your birthday, Josue? My birthday is March 21st. March 21st. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Now, as you can see, this is the way we express the dates. Okay, this is the way we express the dates. Okay. Es una forma como expresamos las fechas. Okay, fechas importantes. For example, my birthday is on December 6th, for example. Okay. Recuerden, ahí utilizamos on. My birthday is on December 6th. Okay. A new year is on January 1st. Okay. A, for example, Independence Day is on September 15th, etc. Okay. So, and last night we were making a review, everybody. We were making a review. Okay. For the the dates. Do you remember everybody? For example, these are some holidays. These are some holidays that we have. Okay. Let me repeat the exercise so that we can have a review. Vamos a repetir este ejercicio para que lo repasemos y los que no estuvieron ayer ahí se puedan familiarizar también. Okay, everybody, observe, please. Mother's Day, New Year, Christmas, Valentine's Day. These are holidays. These are, uh, some of them we celebrate in the summer. Okay, for example, let's see. Uh, Alejandro, when is Mother's Day? Dictate, please. Dictate for me. Dictate, Alejandro. ¿Cuándo sería el día de la madre? When is Mother's Day? May 10th. May 10th. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So in this case, we have to include the month first. Primero incluimos el mes. Huh? And then the ordinal number. Okay. What is an important characteristic of the months, everybody? The capital letter. Okay. Inicial mayúscula. Sí. Okay, Kenya Rivas, when is New Year? It's on January 1st. January 1st, that's right. Okay, January 1st, excellent. Okay, now we have Isaac, Isaac Flores, when is Christmas? When is Christmas, is that? December uh -huh. 25. No, it's 20? Five. No, it's 25th. Like this. Okay, check it, please. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, no es el quinto mes? Pero no, cuando es el quinto? Okay, we say fifth. Fit. Fit. Yes. That's right. Okay, very good. So? Now let's have a different participant here. Let's have a different is it is Mendes. When is Valentine's Day? Uh, Valentine's Day is on February 40. February, February for February 14th. 14. Okay. Very simple. Okay, you only 14. 14 and then TH. That's right. Okay, let's see. Now a different participant. Uh, Carla Perdomo. When is Father's Day? Father's Day is on June. Uh -huh. Um 17. June 17. Very good. Okay, June 7. 
17th, it is. 17th. That's right. Okay, June 17th. All right, this is very easy. This is for uh, Jose Vela. When is Independence Day, Jose? Independence Day is on uh, September 5th, 5th, uh, 15th, no, excuse me. 15th, okay. okay. September 15th, excellent. Okay, now we have, uh, let me see, Karina. Karina Rivera, when is Children's Day? The Children's Day is on October 1st. October 1st, very simple, okay, October. First. Okay, if you see everybody, all the months include capital letter. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Lisette Granados, when is Halloween? Halloween is on October huh? 30. October? Uh, 31st. October 31st. 31st. Like this. October 31st. Okay, like this. And the last one. Okay, let's see. A different participant. Katia Monterosa. When is Day of the Dead? In El Salvador, we call it Dia de los Difuntos. Day of the Dead. So, yes, is is on November second. November second, next. November second. That is right. Okay. Then we have Labor Day. What's the meaning of Labor Day in Spanish? Anybody tell me? What's the meaning of Labor Day? What significa Labor Day? Día del Trabajo. Yeah. Día del Trabajo. Okay, excellent. So, Jose, when is Labor Day? It's May 1st. May 1st. Like 1st. Okay, May 1st. Okay, everybody. So, observe this. These are the different holidays. This is the vocabulary of holidays. And we have the dates for these holidays. Valentine's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, Children's Day, Halloween, etc. Okay. We have the month at the beginning and then the ordinal number. Okay, I will give you in this moment two minutes. Two minutes, everybody. Read for two minutes and then I will ask you. Okay, primero lea y después voy a hacer preguntas. Por ejemplo, voy a decir, when is Valentine's Day? When is Labor Day? When is Independence Day? Etc. Okay, I will ask you. Okay, uh, for Tamara, let's see. Ah, you have to read them, Tamara. Tiene que leerlos. Leerlos porque le vamos a hacer preguntas. La fecha, ¿qué está? Okay, Tamara, ¿cuál es la fecha? Tengo que leer, perdón, es que no se me cortaba y no entendí. Ah, ok, sí. Eh, vamos a leer los días festivos junto con las fechas. Y luego le voy a quitar la pantalla. Voy a quitarle la lámina que tenemos aquí. En este momento, y le vamos a hacer preguntas. Ok, empiezo por Mother's Day. Yeah, but you have to read them. Tienes que estudiar así individualmente. Ah, ok. Ok, 
Okay, everybody. Now let me ask you the questions. What are my las preguntas? Let's start with uh, Lourdes. When is Independence Day? In Lourdes? Independence Day is September. Is on on. Is on September fifteenth. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lourdes. Santiago. When is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on February. Uh -huh. February. February. February 14th. February 14th. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Tamara, when is New Year? December 31st. No, New Year is the first the first day of the year. The, the, the January uh, 1st. January 1st, fantastic, thank you. Okay, thank you, Tamara. Lisette Granados, when is Labor Day? Day is on. Labor Day is on May 1st. May 1st, very good. Okay, Kayla, when is Halloween? Halloween is on uh, October 31st. October 31st, very good. Okay, let's see, Kenya Rivas, when is a let's see mother's day um mother's day is on may 10th may 10th very good okay may 10th let's see a uh, katia katia monterosa when is a father's day father's day is on June 17. June 17, very good. Okay, thank you. Catherine Diaz. Catherine Diaz, when is a Christmas? Christmas is on December 25. Oh, no, 25, no, 25 is the, is the cardinal number. 25th? 25th, excellent. Okay, 25th, December 25th. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Carla. Carla Perdomo. When is a Labor Day? Labor Day is on May 1st. May 1st, very good. Okay, May 1st. Now, let's see. Uh, we have a different participant now. Let me see. Okay, uh, Karina, when is Valentine's Day? The Valentine's Day is on February 14th. February 14th, very good, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue with Josue. Josue, when is a Father's Day? Father's Day is on June uh, 17. June 17, very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Sol, okay, when is a New Year? New Year is on uh, January 1st. January 1st. 1st, very good. Okay, thank you. Now we continue with uh, Jose Ben. Okay, when is the Day of the Dead? Uh, day of the Dead is on November 2nd. November 2nd, very good, thank you. Now let's see Jenny Melendez. When is a uh, Valentine's Day? Good night, teacher. Valentine is February. Um, 14. February 14th, 
Fantastic. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's continue with uh, Jacqueline Orellana. When is Mother's Day? Excuse me, es que se me traba el inter. Ah, okay, Jacqueline. When is Mother's Day? The Mother's Day is on May 10. May 10. Very good. So it's on May 10. Let's see, Alejandro. Israel, sorry. Israel. When is, a, let's see, Independence Day? In Independence Day is on September 15th. September 15th. Okay, Alejandro, when is Halloween? It's on October 31st. Okay, uh, October. October 31st. October 31st. Okay, let's see now, Alejandro. Oh, no, wait, wait. Uh, Jose, Jose, sorry. When is a Christmas? Christmas. Christmas is on 25th. No, but first the month, the Merry Miss. December. Okay, December 25th. 26. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Now let's continue with, uh, let's see, Jenny Melendez. Okay, Jenny. When is Children's Day? Uh, the Children's Day is on October. October? 1st. October 1st. Okay. Fantastic. Very good. Okay, everybody. Now, uh, teacher, I have yes. a question. Yeah, uh, me, because the uh, because the uses on is a ruler grammar, and when the usage and the uh, fetches is uh -huh. specific. Yeah, for a specific dates. Okay, for example, See? it's yeah. We need to use on. On. For example, when you say uh, Mother's Day is on, okay, October, uh, May 10th. Okay, it's a ruler grammar and they use uh, because uh, um, on? On, yes, it's a, it's necessary. Okay, it's a rule, as you say. Okay. It's una regla. Okay. You need to on. When you have a date specific, you have to put on. Okay, for example, when you say, my birthday is on October 6th, for example. Okay, so this is a specific rule. This is not really specific. Okay, everybody? Okay. Questions about this Thank topic, you. everybody? Other questions? Other pregunta que tengamos? No? Okay, let's continue, everybody. Now, we continue today with a new topic. Okay, vamos a continuar con un tema nuevo. Observe everybody, please. We continue with be going to. Okay? We use be going to, everybody. We use be going to when we express plans and intentions for the future. Plans and intentions for the future. Okay? In that moment, we use be going to. Plans for the future. Okay? Now observe, for example, this is the structure. Okay, I describe a plan. I am going to visit Italy. Yo voy a visitar Italia. Okay, observe, I use the contraction, am. And then we have two auxiliaries, going to, and finally, the verb in the original form. Okay, I am going to visit Italy. Okay, what is my plan for the future? I am going to buy a house. Okay, I am going to uh, travel to Canada. Okay, I am going to buy a new cell phone, etc. Okay, 
So in this moment, we express plans, specific plans for the future. Now, if we are talking about a specific person, we use is. For example, you say Alejandra is going to visit Italy. Okay, she is going to visit Italy. Okay. He is going to buy a new car, etc. Okay, and then okay, uh, if, if it's in plural, we use we are. We are going to visit Italy. You are going to uh, buy a new car. They are going to travel to USA, etc. Okay, so in this case, I express okay plans for the future. Observe everybody. Look at look at this. I use I am going to. Very easy, very simple. I need to use the contraction. I am going to. Okay. Now everybody in the chat. In the chat. Okay. I want you to write. Three plans that you have for this year. Okay, tres planes que usted tiene para este año. Three plans for this year, everybody. Okay, for example, in my case, okay, for this year, okay, remember, I need to use the contraction first. Okay, I'm going to buy a new car, I'm going to travel to USA. And I'm going to uh, learn French. Okay, everybody? Pay attention to the chat, everybody. You need to express three plans, not only one, three, three, everybody, not just one. In the world is in Israel. No, it's just three plans, three plans. For example, you have to start like this. For this year, comma, I am going to buy a new car, comma, I am going to travel to USA and I am going to learn French. Three ideas. Okay, three plans. Cuando ya tenga los tres planes, ahí le da enter. Okay, le da compartir. Okay, everybody, I give you three minutes. Three minutes for this activity. This is the example. Okay, observe el chat general. For this year, I am going to. Okay, I am going to, I am going to, I am going to. Okay, let's do it, please. Write your plans for this year. Three plans you step in for this time. Okay, everybody. So we have some students that complete the, this activity. Catherine, thank you. Arna, Israel. Uh, but in the case of Israel, we have three plans, right? Three plans, please. And let's see, Jose Sol, uh, the very original form. Okay, I am going to eating meat. No, it's the very original form. The verbo tiene que ir en su forma original, sin ing. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks. Okay, then I am going to be thickness. This is from in. Ah, in the case of iris, when I say yo, I, tiene que ser con mayúscula. I am going to, I am going to, tiene que ser mayúscula siempre. Okay, thanks. All right, you're welcome. Okay, remember everybody, it's necessary to use going to. I am going to. Okay, everybody, just two more minutes. Don't need the mask to try to put it. Okay, your plans for this year. El micrófono, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I got confused. Okay, so in this case, everybody, you can use the contraction. You can use the contraction. I want to. Or if you want, okay, you can use the complete form. Okay, the complete form is I am going to. So you have two alternatives here. The other alternative is I am. One, two. This is the other alternative. So, or if you want, remember, you can use the contraction. The two forms are acceptable. I am going to play basketball. I am going to in coffee, etc. Okay, everybody. Now, when it's negative, everybody, when it's negative, it's very simple. We only include the auxiliary. No, I am not going to visit Italy. For example, what it's it's a negative, but it's a plan. Okay, aunque sea negativo, pero igual es es un plan. Okay, it's a plan. For example, when you say, I am not going to work on Sunday. No voy a trabajar el domingo. Okay? Or if it's plural, are. You are, and we are, and you are, they are. Okay? If it's third person, isn't. So if he isn't, she isn't, it isn't. Okay? So when it's negative, it's very simple, everybody. Very, very simple. Okay. Now, uh, let's continue. Let's continue with this uh, exercise here. Observe, please. Okay, observe, please. And you need to choose the correct words to complete the sentence. Okay, Katia Monterosa, what is the correct 
words. What are the correct words for sir, please? We are going to. Uh -huh. We are going to camping. Okay, so we uh -huh. are going to go camping. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Okay, number two. Let's see a uh, Jenny Melendez. Choose the correct alternative. You need to choose three words. I am going to go shopping. Okay, let's check. I am going to go shopping. Okay, excellent. Now let's see. Okay, one more. Israel. Israel, what is the correct alternative here? He is uh, going to traveling to Italy. Okay. He is going to observe everybody. The verb in the original form after going to. After going to, we have the verb in the original form. Okay. Let's have a different participant. Okay. Is, let's start the few words. She is watching. No, she is going to watch Netflix all day long. That's right. Watch. She's going to watch Netflix all day watch. long. Excellent. She's going to watch Netflix all day long. Thank you. Now, let's see if it's correct. Okay, thank you. Now, Jose Sol, tell me, what are the three words to complete this sentence? It is not rain going to tomorrow. Okay, he is not going to rain. rain tomorrow because today it's a Sunday. Okay, fantastic. Everybody. So, everybody, we have 18 exercises like this. Now, in this moment, pay attention to the chat, please. Pay attention to the chat, everybody. I will give you the link. Okay, I will give you the link for this exercise. In this moment, aquí in the chat, we will compartir the link de ese ejercicio. Okay, let's take it, please. It's the link. Okay, and you have, uh, let me see, six minutes to complete this exercise. Okay, at the end, you are going to share okay, the score. What has your advantage to stay open? Okay, let's do it, everybody. Take it, please. If you have questions, turn on the microphone, please. If you have any questions. Teacher. Yes. Puedo en español. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, no problem. Uh, aquí entendiendo el, el ING en los verbos. Tien, o sea, por ejemplo, I am going to go shopping. Entonces, ten, para poner el ING en algún verbo, va a ir el go antes. No, ok. Uh, because we are using going to as auxiliar. Pero estamos ocupando como auxiliar, entonces no se puede volver a repetir. Okay, tiene que ir el verbo en su forma original. I am going to go shopping, I am going to buy, I am going to travel, etc. Ok, thanks. Right. You're welcome.
Okay, everybody. We're going to continue with this activity later. Podemos continuar con ese enlace después. Ahí lo pueden dejar guardado. Now, the last activity for tonight, everybody. La última actividad para esta noche. Observe this. What are two plans that you have for tomorrow? What are two plans that you have for tomorrow? Observe this. Okay, for example, for tomorrow, I am going to work and I am going to uh, buy food in the supermarket. Okay, so you have to tell me, okay, the things that you have to do, everybody. Cosas que tiene que hacer usted mañana. Okay, tomorrow, two actions. Let's start with Tamara. Tamara? Two things you have to do tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow, I am going to cook. And I am going to shopping. Okay, I am going to go shopping. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you. Santiago, tell us your plans for tomorrow, please. Okay. I'm going to deliver an activity. Okay, the other activity. Okay, now let's see Lourdes. What are two plans that you have for tomorrow, Lourdes? I am going to wake, wake up at I am. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Then I am going to take a shower. Take a shower. I'm going to take a shower. Then okay. I am going to work. And you're going to work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with uh, Lisette. What are two plans for tomorrow, Lisette? I am going to cook uh -huh. um, I am going to uh, buy the shopping go shopping I am going to go, go shopping. shopping go shopping okay thank you thank you now let's continue with Kayla Kayla what are two plans that you have for tomorrow for tomorrow I'm going to uh, record videos okay. and I'm going to edit videos. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with uh, uh, Kenya. Kenya Rivas, what are two plans that you have for tomorrow? Okay. Uh, for tomorrow, I am going to do exercise. Um, I'm going to go to study in the afternoon. And I'm going to study in the afternoon. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Katia, Monterrosa, two plans for tomorrow. For tomorrow, I'm going to stay home and I'm okay. going to have a virtual meeting. Okay, and you're going to have a virtual meeting. Too. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with Katherine. Katherine Diaz, what are two plans that you have for tomorrow? For tomorrow, I'm going to play the guitar and I'm going to read some book. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Now let's continue with uh, Karina. Karina, what are two plans that you have for tomorrow? Karina? For tomorrow, I'm going to pay some bills uh -huh. and I'm going to visit my mom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's see, Josue, what are two plans that you have for tomorrow, Josue? For tomorrow, I'm going to study and I'm going to go shopping. You're going to go shopping, okay. Thank you, Josue. Now let's see, let's continue with Jose Vela. Two plans for tomorrow, Jose. For tomorrow, I'm going to Rome uh, in San Salvador. Um, I'm going to read my book. And you're going to read books, okay? Thank you, Jose. Now, Jose Sol, what are two plans that you have for tomorrow, Jose? Okay, 
Okay, that's all. Awesome. Two plans that you have for tomorrow. For tomorrow, I'm going to work and uh -huh. I'm going to visit my parents. You will, you're going to visit your parents. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Jenny Melendez. Two plans for tomorrow, Jenny. I am going to visit a uh, grandfather and celebrate a uh, birthday. Okay, you're going to celebrate his birthday. Thank you. Now let's continue with, uh, let's see, uh, Jacqueline. Yeah. Two plans for tomorrow, Jacqueline. I am going to clean my house and um, I am going to play my song. Okay, you're going to play with your song. Thank you. Okay, let's see. It is two plans that we have for tomorrow. For tomorrow, I'm going to go run in the morning and I'm going to go to the market. Okay, the supermarket. Very good. Thank you. Liz. Supermarket. Now, Israel, two plans that you have for tomorrow, Israel. For tomorrow, I am going to work and I am going to study. Okay, thank you, Israel. Uh, Alejandro, Rivera, what are two plans that you have for tomorrow? For tomorrow, I'm going to get out early. Uh, I'm going to class. And you're going to have classes too. Okay, everybody. So we're going to stop here. Okay, thank you so much for your attention tonight. Remember, you have to work on the platform. Work in the exercise in the platform. And if you have questions, okay, if you have any questions about the use of the platform, about an exercise, remember, I am in the WhatsApp group. Okay. If you want, you can take pictures, for example, about the exercise, and then you can share it in WhatsApp. Okay, and I can give you and I can help you there. Okay, thank you so much for your attention, everybody, and have a good night. See you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night, good night everybody. everybody. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.